Fellow gamers, I'm Vish and you're watching my first playthrough, Child of Light. So I thought I'd pick up a nice mellow game for my first one. Just got this off Steam, they've also got a free demo on there so um, you can try it out if you like. And there's also a couple of DLC packs at the moment, there's Golem's Plight which will give you some additional quests, an extra character for your team. Second DLC is called Dark Pack which will give you an additional skin for your main character and a few buffs. But for now we're going to stick with the main game. Looking forward to this one, so let's get started. Uh, I think we'll go with normal first. And I'll keep quiet whilst we hear the story. Child, tuck yourself in bed and let me tell a story of Lemuria, a long-lost kingdom, and a girl born for glory. In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora was his daughter, child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone. They were rarely apart, till the duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter 1895. Players performed for the Duke, his new bride at his side. That night Aurora went to sleep, the fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread, her skin was cold as snow. At dawn they found her, vacant, Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead, and yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. Okay, there's a story. So apparently we were a zombie princess, just died. Oh, look at this game, it's absolutely stunning. What more could a fully grown man want than to be a princess? <laughs> okay, um, so what have we got? I guess we jumped down. It seems like it's a classical fairy tale, light versus dark. Playing as Aurora, who's on a quest to find the sun and the moon and the stars that apparently have been stolen by an evil Queen Umbra. So, there we go. I'll make sure I keep quiet for all the cutscenes and narration because clearly it's going to be a big part of the story. Okay, let's see what's in here. I'm not supposed to beat him with my bare hands. Okay, well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's leave him alone for the time being. Spider, watch yourself.
Alright, so I've got a companion. Oh, I'm moving with a mouse. Okay, so I've got control of both of them. I don't know quite what he does. He's got a meter, a light meter. It's obviously for. Okay, let's give this a go. What's back there? Giant. I'm sure we'll have to kick his ass at some point. Even be for now. Oh, okay. We can use them to open chests. Be handy for s bits and pieces we can't reach. We can't get up there yet. Side scrolling RPGs. Beautiful. Bit of platforming thrown in. So the plants look like they give us health MP. I guess they fill his light meter too. Yep, so HP, MP, they fill the sprites light meter. Are we getting any experience from them? Looks like they also show us where to go. So we have to use him to light the torches. Open the door, okay. Match the symbols. Ah, clever. Okay, so let's match these up. Check over here first. That's oh, a dead end. So the sound and music in this game are awesome. Very atmospheric. Remove the sword. Take the sword, yeah, give me the blade. Okay, looks like we've got our first battle. Let's see what the mechanics are like here. Okay, so this reminds me of Grandia. So we can act, slash or defend, potions, flee, switch party. I'm by myself at the moment. Okay, let's just kick his ass. Can the sprite do any. Oh, what's this? He shows up on the bar at the bottom there, so I'm guessing he slows him down. Let's slash him. Ah, oh, I see. So left click on the mouse for the sprite will actually show slow his cast time down. Which allows us to nip ahead and kick his ass. So I've got my sword. Onwards. Let's 
take him out quick, quick. That's it. Uh, so engaging enemies from behind will give you a surprise attack. Nice job. Slow him down again. Uh, that's handy because yeah, you can slow him down, so you can pretty much. I'm guessing knock him back if he's in a cast area. I haven't quite got to that yet, because we'll just keep on nuking him before they're even casting. Ah, level up already. Here we go. Level 2. Skill points. New skills. Okay, so we've got a, different, a few different pathways we can go. What have we got here? Starlight path. Slash all, counter attack. Now, what do we want to go for? Counter or well, it's only a ten percent chance. So, let's work towards a slash all. That'll be a good starting place, I think. Okay, let's um, take a look at the options menu as well. Here. Obviously, can't shift party around because I haven't got any yet. Skills we just checked. Oculi, what's that? Craft. Ah, these are the ones I got um, as it was a pre-purchase of Steam. It gave me a few, a few gems to mess around with. So I'm guessing we can combine. But we need three of each kind to combine, which we haven't. Let's see if we can mix some colours. Uh, blue, red. Oh yeah, blue and red make purple clearly. Let's add a green. Ah, okay. Let's make a rough diamond, see what it does. Okay. Um, it seems like we can equip gems for different buffs. Okay, so what do we want to equip in a weapon? What's that one? Blue adds water damage, green adds lightning damage, I'm guessing red's fire, yes. Okay, let's put a fire gem in. Um, what do we wanna... No, I'll take that out. Obviously, uh, the resistances are the same. Chance of dodge for yellow gem. Reduce physical damage for purple. Extra XP. XP is always good, let's have that. And what do we have down here? Increase five percent chance to bump target back on the line. Yeah, let's have that. Okay. Inventory. Oh yeah, we also got a load of uh free stat boosters with a pre-purchase so I guess it's probably a good idea just, just to buff up the main character so we've got one uber killer right, let's just dump them all into the princess give us a nice little boost and we have a healing tonic okay Back to the game. We can't get over that yet. Oh, evil witch in the background there. Attack him from behind. Surprise so strike. Let's see what those gems did. So we've got fire damage in our blade. So a one shot him. <laughs> there you go. And an antidote. I want that chest. Ow. Oh. Hey, I'm trying to jump over the gap and I can just get the elemental to do it. Let's have him before 
knife out. Sneaky. Two of them. Okay, let's slow. Just, just one shot in these with that fire buff on the sword. Those buffs made a nice difference. And another level up. Skill points available. Okay, let's get some added strength. before he casts. Not gonna catch him, so let's let's defend so we don't get knocked back. Oh hey Take it to the face And another level up. Stick with a slash or chain. Chest. Can't go that way. Let's make our way up. Oh, looks like we're going to have to jump up using a crate. Well, we might as well knock him out. Seems we can one-shot everything at the moment. Slow him down. Oh, I can heal myself by using this sprite. Nice. I'm going to slow those down or heal myself. It's pretty handy, little fella. What's that? Somebody needs some help. Oh, can I use him to get past things without them attacking me either? That's good. A little sign for post. Right to the old monastery. Looks like that's where we're going. Who's this? A crow with a top hat. Standard. Who's that? A friendly ghost or... This is not a friendly ghost. Let's kill it then. Surprise strike. You're going down. Oh wow, okay, so... Clearly blades don't do anything towards ghosts, so what else? I haven't nothing else. Slash it is. Oh, she only took two hits. Can I climb on a fountain and get up there? Yes, I can. Anything up here? Chest. What do you got for me? Another red gem. Can I craft any more now? No, not at the moment. Great, no full damage on this game. 
follow my voice. I'm gonna check out down there. Oh my god, gargoyle. Something from behind. Well, let's knock out the uh, bug first because they're one shot. Let's slow down the gargoyle. See if we can catch him up. No problem. Yeah, it looks like if you attack them whilst they're casting, it'll knock them back on the chain. So we can do it again. Courtier. Gargoyle's pussy. Potent magic potion. We haven't got any magic at the moment, so. And another chest. Firefly elixir. I'm guessing that'll fill up his light meter. A gap. And what we and another ghost. Let's see if we can get past her using a sprite. Yeah, you can run through them if you if he's shining. Let's take it from behind. Boy, boy. Same again. One shot the bug first, I think. Load of ghost. Beat down on it. Can't catch her up. Ah, run out of light. Slow her down. Slash. Dead. Another level up. So we've got dodge percentage, we're going to put a slash all. Left or right? Let's take a look. Oh, can't go left. Right it is. Got to turn the wheel, which opens the flap and I guess the door as well. So let's drag this block to the right, to the left. Make our way around. That'll be enough. No. Let's push it all the way. Another ghost. There's a door there we can go through off that. What do you mean dodge? I'm gonna slow the ghost down, I think. Oh, he's caught me. Oh, it looks like he buffed himself. This slowing mechanic's pretty, pretty nifty. Oh, he's caught me there, knocked me back. I should have defended. You knocked my crown off. One shot and you. She's casting something big, but she's dead. And an antidote. What's down there? Well, don't know, jump off there, let's go in here. Okay, what's going on? Boxes and pulleys and levers and Illuminate the oculi. 
Okay, it's another use for our elemental. Lovely. There we go. And where are we taking this? Guessing over to the other side. over. Let's just leave it there. Okay. Handy. I'm guessing I'm just gonna need a box on it. This one. Ah, Mr. Lift. Up we go. Block on the pressure pad. Doors open. Face. It's the gargoyle. No mercy. Oh, we're not going to catch them. Let's knock out him first. Dead onto the ghost. Slow her down so we can catch her up. I'll go back and catch her up again. Oh no! Light boy's out of. Gotcha! Let's heal her up. Okay, leave her. And we're through. Up we go. Looks like a new puzzle. Okay, so we shine lights red to red, I guess. So how do we turn that? Oh, there's a lever over there. Let's, okay, let's turn the lever, change the colours. We need a blue. Cool. Is this going to be a boss or somebody to help me? I'm guessing it's a boss. <laughs> I was right. Uh, so it looks like we're taking out the statues.
Ah, uh, speed up. What's he doing? Okay, let's just focus on one at a time. Take out the front one first. I'm gonna keep her healed if we get slow in the process. Oh, well that wasn't too hard. <laughs> I was expecting a longer fight than that. So we can slow him now. We're not in any immediate danger. You should only die next hit. Magic Stardust. That's a little stat booster. Once the sun shone upon a land of sequined valleys and peaks of white, and at night ruined castles glowed with alabaster light. From the stars in the crescent moon, a queen of light ruled this rambling place. Each night she walked the palace alone, her luminosity dawn's own face. Until one night there was no trace, the queen had vanished, and with her the light. Dark resided in its place, the usurper, Umbra, hid from sight. She sent her daughters in her stead, the sun, the stars, and the crescent moon. They pilfered from the sky, extinguished them with the monsoon. Then Umbra's dark creatures conquered the land, our lives soon snuffed out by a wave of her hand. So are we going to get the ability to fly? Seems so. Excellent. Here we go, we can fly. 
So I guess we have to go back to where we came, so she said, pick up all those chests that we didn't get to and explore the skies. And so Aurora wandered, the twilight forest far from home. Starlight only to guide her, except for a firefly alone. Anxious for the comforts of family who could not trace her, searching for the sun and moon, a father to embrace her. And somewhere in the night, perched upon a throne in the dark, waited Umbra, a usurper, to snuff out Aurora's spark. Okay, I think that's a good place to uh, wrap it up for the first vid. Yeah, this game does a beautiful job of putting that fairy tale across. All the narrations done in like a poem, and wow, it's like a kiddie's nighttime story. Let's open this chest here, send it quickly. Yes, that will help us along the way. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll wrap this up and pick it up next time and continue our journey.